Let's take a moment to relax and breathe. Today, we're going to learn and explore the benefit of therapy, why seeking professional help is a sign of strength. In every life journey, there are ups and downs, twists and turns, and sometimes we find ourselves lost amidst the chaos. But remember, it's okay to ask for directions. In today's video, we're going to explore the multifaceted world of therapy. We'll delve into various aspects of it, focusing on the transformative power it holds and the courage it takes to embark on this journey. First, we'll look at what therapy actually is. We'll go beyond the simplistic notion of talking about feelings and explore the structured, professional approach that therapy entails. We'll understand how therapists help clients navigate through their complex emotions and facilitate positive change. Second, we'll dive into the scientific evidence supporting the effectiveness of therapy. We'll highlight research showing how therapy can alleviate symptoms of various mental health conditions, improve emotional regulation, and enhance overall quality of life. Next, we'll follow the journey of a man named John, who finds himself overwhelmed by life's challenges. Through John's story, we'll witness the transformative power of therapy, and see how seeking help allows him to regain control and find his balance. We'll then tackle the societal misconception of therapy being a sign of weakness. We'll counter this with evidence and narratives showing that seeking therapy is, in fact, a sign of strength, self-awareness and resilience. Lastly, we'll provide practical tips on how to start your therapy journey. We'll discuss how to find the right therapist, what to expect in your first session, and how to make the most out of this journey. By the end of this video, we hope to equip you with a deeper understanding of therapy, dispel any myths and empower you with the knowledge that seeking help isn't a sign of weakness, but a testament to your strength and bravery. Join us as we explore the benefit of therapy, why seeking professional help is a sign of strength. If you're ready, let's get started. Charting the course for change, what is therapy? So, what exactly is therapy? You may have a picture in your mind, a couch, a notepad, a lot of nodding. But it's so much more than that. At its core, therapy, also known as psychotherapy or counseling, is a process of exploring feelings, beliefs, and behaviors, working through challenging or influential memories. It involves a professionally trained individual, a therapist, psychologist, counselor, or psychiatrist, who uses clinically proven techniques to help people develop healthier, more effective habits. The goal of therapy can vary greatly from person to person. Some might seek therapy to cope with major life changes or childhood trauma, others might seek help for specific mental health conditions like anxiety, depression, or post-traumatic stress disorder. Therapy can be conducted in a variety of formats, including individual, couple, family, or group therapy sessions, and it can be short-term or long-term. Therapy is not about giving advice or telling you what to do. Instead, it's about helping you understand yourself better, identify your feelings, and make your own decisions. Therapists provide a safe, supportive environment where you can talk openly and confidentially about your thoughts and feelings, helping you understand them better and manage them effectively. In a nutshell, therapy is a journey of self-exploration and self-improvement, guided by a professional who can provide you with the tools to navigate life's challenges in a healthier, more effective way. And that's the essence of therapy, a journey toward better understanding and managing our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. Effectiveness of therapy So, how effective is therapy? The answer is supported by a wealth of scientific research. Firstly, studies show that most people who receive therapy experience symptom relief and are better able to function in their lives. According to the American Psychological Association, 75% of people who enter psychotherapy show some benefit. Therapy can help reduce or control troubling symptoms, allowing people to function better, and increase their well-being. Therapy teaches new ways to think about situations, feelings, and thoughts that can lead to reduced stress, improved mood, and better decision-making. Cognitive behavioral therapy, in particular, has been shown to be especially effective in treating a variety of conditions, including depression, anxiety disorders, and post-traumatic stress disorder. Therapy also offers a safe space for self-expression, which in itself can be healing. 
The act of talking about one's experiences can help people understand and make sense of their situation. Overall, therapy can bring about profound change and significantly improve the quality of life. It's not a quick fix, but a journey of self-discovery and growth. Clearly, the effectiveness of therapy is well established. It's a valuable tool to help navigate life's challenges and foster mental health and well-being. Real Life Example, Case Study of John Meet John, a successful executive who is constantly under a mountain of work. His professional life is booming, but at what cost? He's always the last one to leave the office. His sleep is sporadic and restless. He's perpetually wired, even when he's away from work. His personal relationships are strained. He barely spends time with his family. His friends can't remember the last time they saw him relax. One day, John finds himself sitting in a park, feeling lost and overwhelmed. He realizes that he needs help. He decides to take a leap of faith. He seeks professional help. He reaches out to a therapist. John starts attending regular therapy sessions. It's difficult at first, opening up to a stranger. But soon, he starts feeling a sense of relief. His therapist introduces him to various coping strategies. He learns about mindfulness, deep breathing exercises, and the importance of setting boundaries. John begins to apply these strategies in his daily life. He sets work-life boundaries. He practices mindfulness. He starts to sleep better. Over time, John's relationships improve. He communicates his needs better. He even starts mentoring a junior at work. John's journey isn't a magic transformation. It's a series of small steps, guided by therapy, leading him towards a better, healthier life. John's story is a testament to the power of therapy, showing us that seeking professional help is indeed a sign of strength, a commitment to personal growth and self-care. Societal Misconception of Therapy Being a Sign of Weakness Societal misconceptions about therapy abound, and one of the most common is that seeking therapy is a sign of weakness. This belief often stems from the misguided notion that we should be able to handle our problems on our own, that needing help is somehow a sign of inadequacy. Stigma surrounding mental health also plays a significant role. Many cultures and societies view mental health issues as personal failings rather than legitimate health concerns. There's a fear of being judged, of being labeled crazy or unstable, which often prevents individuals from seeking the help they need. But here's the truth, seeking therapy isn't a sign of weakness. Quite the contrary, it's a sign of strength. It takes courage to face one's struggles, to admit that you're human and need help. It shows resilience, self-awareness, and a commitment to personal growth. Therapy is not about fixing oneself, but about learning to navigate life's challenges in a healthier, more effective way. It's about building resilience, developing emotional intelligence, and enhancing one's quality of life. So, let's shatter this misconception. Seeking therapy isn't a sign of weakness, but a testament to one's strength and resilience. Practical Tips on How to Start Your Therapy Journey Starting your therapy journey can feel daunting. But remember, it's a step towards better mental health and well-being. Here are five practical tips to help you get started. Tip number one, acknowledge your needs. It's the first, and often the most challenging, step in starting your therapy journey. This involves acknowledging that you are experiencing difficulties that may be beyond your capacity to cope alone. Maybe you're constantly feeling overwhelmed like John, with work piling up and personal life taking a backseat. Perhaps you're dealing with a major life transition, relationship troubles, or grieving a loss. Or maybe you're dealing with persistent feelings of sadness, anxiety, or other distressing emotions that just don't seem to go away. Recognizing these feelings and struggles, and accepting them as valid, is the first step toward seeking help. It's important to remember that it's okay to need help. We all need help sometimes. It doesn't mean you're weak or incapable. Quite the contrary, acknowledging your needs is a sign of strength, of self-awareness. It shows that you value your mental health and are ready to take steps to improve it. So, don't shy away from acknowledging your needs. It's the first step towards starting your therapy journey and towards a healthier, happier you. 
Tip number two, do your research. Entering therapy is a significant commitment, and the more you know, the more empowered you are to make informed decisions. Start by familiarizing yourself with the different types of therapy available. For example, cognitive behavioral therapy focuses on identifying and changing harmful thought patterns, whereas psychodynamic therapy delves into past experiences and unconscious processes. Research the efficacy of these therapies for your specific concerns. What works well for depression may not be as effective for anxiety or trauma. Also, investigate potential therapists. Look at their qualifications, areas of expertise, and therapeutic approaches. Read reviews if available. You might even consider scheduling a preliminary consultation to see if you feel comfortable with them. Remember, not all therapists will be a good fit for you. It's essential to find someone you feel comfortable with and who can effectively address your specific needs. Doing your research might seem daunting, but it's a crucial part of your therapy journey. It empowers you to make informed decisions and find the best help for your unique needs. And remember, the goal is to find a therapy and therapist that can best support you on your journey toward better mental health. Your friends here at Mentally Healthy can also help you in this area. Stick around until the end of this video for valuable information on finding and locating the best therapist for you. Tip number 3, find the right therapist. This is an incredibly important aspect of your therapy journey. The therapeutic relationship is a critical component of successful therapy outcomes. Consider the therapist's qualifications and experience. Are they licensed and credentialed? Do they specialize in the areas you need help with? Also, consider their therapeutic approach. Therapists use different methodologies, such as cognitive behavioral, psychodynamic, humanistic, or integrative approaches. Some may be more suitable for you than others, depending on your needs. Remember, it's okay to shop around. You might want to schedule preliminary consultations with a few therapists to gauge how comfortable you feel with them. During these consultations, pay attention to how they interact with you. Do they listen attentively? Do they seem empathetic and understanding? Do they respect your thoughts and feelings? Trust your gut feelings. The right therapist for you is the one you feel most comfortable with, the one you feel you can trust and open up to. Finding the right therapist can take time, but it's worth the effort. A good therapeutic relationship can greatly enhance the effectiveness of therapy and your overall therapy experience. So, take your time, do your research, trust your instincts, and find the therapist who feels right for you. As we mentioned earlier, we can help you in this area. Stick around until the end of this video for valuable information on finding and locating the best therapist for you. Tip number 4, Set Realistic Expectations Therapy is a journey of self-discovery and growth, not a quick fix. It's crucial to approach it with the right mindset. Firstly, understand that therapy takes time. Change does not happen overnight. You're not just trying to alleviate symptoms, but to understand and address underlying issues, which can be complex and deeply rooted. Think of therapy as planting a seed. With time, care, and patience, it will eventually grow and blossom, but it needs time to take root first. Also, remember that progress in therapy is often not linear. There might be ups and downs, forward movements and setbacks. That's completely normal. It's part of the healing and growth process. Don't be discouraged by temporary setbacks or slow progress. Instead, celebrate small victories and incremental changes. Lastly, understand that therapy can be challenging at times. It often involves confronting difficult feelings and experiences. But remember, these challenges are part of the journey towards healing and growth. Setting realistic expectations can help you stay motivated and committed to the therapy process. It's not an easy journey, but with patience, resilience, and the right mindset, it can be a profoundly rewarding one. Tip number 5, Be Open and Honest For therapy to be effective, it's crucial that you are transparent about your feelings and experiences. Therapy is a safe space for you to express yourself freely. Your therapist is there to support you, not to judge. The more honest you are, the more they can understand your experiences and guide you effectively. Of course, opening up about personal issues and vulnerabilities can be difficult. It's okay to take your time and go at your own pace. 
The important thing is to strive for openness to the best of your ability. Also, be honest about your feelings towards the therapy process itself. If you're feeling uncomfortable or if you're not seeing the progress you hoped for, communicate this with your therapist. They can adjust the approach or address any concerns you might have. Remember, therapy is a collaborative process. Your input and honesty are vital for it to work effectively. So, be open, be honest, and remember, your therapist is there to support you on your journey towards better mental health. This concludes our video on the, the benefit of therapy, why seeking professional help is a sign of strength. As we draw to the close of this enlightening journey, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've discovered. We've peeled back the layers of therapy, moving beyond the societal misconceptions and stigma to reveal its true essence, a structured, professional process designed to help individuals navigate through life's challenges. We've walked alongside John, witnessing his transformation from a state of overwhelming stress to one of control, peace and understanding. His journey serves as a testament to the transformative power of therapy and a reminder that seeking help is not a sign of weakness, but a courageous act of self-care. We've explored the scientific evidence supporting the effectiveness of therapy, understanding how it can alleviate symptoms of various mental health conditions, improve emotional regulation, and enhance overall quality of life. And we've challenged the societal misconception that therapy is a sign of weakness, countering it with the truth that seeking therapy is, in fact, a sign of strength, self-awareness, and resilience. We also provided practical tips on how to start your therapy journey, giving you the tools to find the right therapist, and make the most of this potentially life-changing process. Have you or anyone you know benefited from therapy? What was that experience like? What do you think are the biggest barriers preventing people from seeking therapy? And how can we as a society work to break down those barriers? Are there any other misconceptions about therapy you've heard that you would like us to address in future videos? Please share with us your experiences in this area. We invite you to leave your answers in the comments below. So, if you find yourself in the maze of life, remember, it's okay to ask for directions. It's okay to seek help. Therapy isn't a sign of defeat, but a step towards victory. Because, after all, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Let's continue this important conversation together. And remember, you're not alone. We're all in this journey together.